more in rule and I study eye tracking. Eye tracking is a powerful technology that can help us become better journalists and using it in ways to study user behavior and to understand how we can communicate better are the things that it brings to the table that no other technology really can. In journalism, eye tracking is relatively new. I'd say the first big study of journalistic eye tracking was done by the Pointer Institute in 1990s, where they actually looked at where people viewed newspapers. And it was that with that big headgear mounted device, but it was probably one of the first times where we saw that technology helping journalists really understand the issues of visual design and how people interact with it. Here in the journalism school, we did uh, the award-winning project Cola Love Story. We went in and looked at these two different versions of the story. One was told, the stories were told in a traditional website layout. The second was told in what we called an interactive film. One thing that we were able to observe when we did this eye tracking was that the people who actually got the story in that interactive film actually spent almost 30% more time with the stories than the people who got it delivered in a traditional website. The content was exactly the same, but the way it was put together was different. And something is happening in terms of how users react to that. Toby has come out with these eye tracking glasses that actually have the camera mounted in the glasses, very lightweight glasses. But the ability for those is that they can allow you to track almost anything because the other sensor for the camera can be placed anywhere. It can be placed on a tablet device, it can be placed on a phone, it can be placed on a shelf in a grocery store. It's basically mobile eye tracking, which is a really a huge revolution and, again, very easy to use, very easy to calibrate, and um, really can answer some, some basic questions that we need to know in terms of how to more effectively tell stories in journalism.